Well, hello my friends, Lee with the Irish Zombie Nation. Today I have a topic of discussion for you and that is going to be on different types of cookware, specifically stainless steel versus titanium cookware. Pots, pans, uh, cups, spoons, so on and so forth. What do you like to take out? What do I like to take out? Well, I'm gonna tell you what I like to take out and why. We're kind of going over pros and cons of each. Now you saw this reviewed recently on the channel, the Stanley Adventure Cook Set. I think it's called the Camp Cook Set now. And then this is something I've been taking out for the past uh, about three years or so. This is a Tokes Titanium 850 milliliter pot. So, you know, what are we dealing with here? We're dealing with one that costs more and then we're dealing with one that's heavier. So that's kind of the pros and cons on this is what do, you, what do you need to do? What type of camping do you do? Are you ultra lightweight? Are you lightweight? Do you not really care? Are you a car camper? Do you just throw stuff in the in the back of a Jeep or something? And it doesn't matter. You can bring the whole kitchen from home out there and the weight doesn't matter. For me, I like to go out and spend four or five days, maybe even a week out in the woods, a couple miles away from the vehicle. I like to do one hike in, one hike out, not have to resupply unless absolutely necessary. So the uh, weight of my pack as well as the space of my pack matters. What I decided to go with a while back was titanium for that purpose. Now, here's what I don't like about titanium is it is very expensive. So basically when you're dealing with stainless steel versus titanium, you're looking at this is about three times as heavy as this and this is about three times more expensive than this. So you can pick one of these up for $15. I think I paid 45 for this one, 45 or 50. So titanium is not cheap, but they come in a variety of sizes as do all stainless steel and everything else. Um, I just like the feel of titanium. I like the light, how lightweight it is. Uh, for me, it's the route that I decided to go. One of the cons of going titanium, though, is the, uh, the um, thermal conductivity of titanium. It's not as good as stainless steel, meaning basically that if you've got hot coffee, and I drink coffee all throughout the day when I'm camping, and uh, if, you know, usually what I'm going to be using is this little sucker right here. It's a Tokes uh, titanium 450 milliliter cup. comes with a lid. This does not hold the heat very well. I drink my coffee slow, so I'll find myself constantly having to put this over the fire to reheat my coffee. Whereas stainless steel, like this sucker right here, you can get at Walmart for $5. This sucker will hold the heat longer. How much longer? I don't really know, to be honest with you. Uh, I've never really done a test to figure out exactly how much longer it will maintain, you know, within a 10 degree mark or something like that. But I do use both of these. I prefer the titanium. Let me show you a few offerings of titanium here. First of all, like I said, Tokes 450 milliliter cup. This is what I drink my whiskey in at night, my coffee in during the day. And because of that little heat problem that I've got, as far as it not maintaining the heat of the coffee, I just made myself one of these little Reflectix uh, koozies, cozies, whatever you want to call it. I did a, uh, a uh, what is it, a tutorial on how to make one of these a while back. But I just slide my cup into that sucker and now that'll maintain some of the heat a little bit longer, almost as long as the stainless steel will but not quite. So uh, as far as that goes, that's my favorite cup. That's what I usually bring, but I will also bring these. I have multiples, multiples of these at home for my kids. This is just a GSI knockoff little uh, stainless steel cup. And then as far as pots go, I have, well, you already saw this. There's a review on that. You can look back in, in my videos there and uh, check that review out. If stainless steels are out, I'm going, I go with that Stanley. If uh, titaniums are out, I'm going, I go with that Tokes 850 milliliter. I can get a packet of ramen there with a little extra, you know, vegetables added in and such. I do my meal prep in this. Mo most of the time, I'm not making really fancy meals out in the woods, guys. I'm just out there boiling water, reheating, uh, you know, dehydrated meals, freeze dried food, uh, making coffee, making hot chocolate, some ramen, something like that. But, you know, I could make something in this. That's just not my thing. I don't like doing dishes. I think that's the main thing. I just don't like doing dishes. Uh, also, this is my larger pot if I want to make something larger in this. This is a uh, Tokes Titanium. I have an uh, 1100 milliliter uh, pot, cup, whatever you want to call it. It had a bale on it. I lost the bale, so I just made my own out of some hanging wire, like picture frame hanging wire. It does have handles like the other one does, so you can do it with a handle. You can do it with a bale, however you want to do it. The lid design on this, I don't like this lid design. It's kind of rounded, you see, and it just kind of barely sits in there like that. There goes my koozie. Uh, the newer lids on the titanium, as far as tokes go, they're more like a um, like a cat food can or something like that. It just sits really sturdy down on top of the pot. Uh, another stainless steel option. This is your old mess kit, like military Boy Scout style mess kit. This is stainless steel. This sucker is heavy, but in this I've got a little plate. I you know if I'm going to go out and I'm going to have a steak and some. Uh, barbecue baked beans or something, some mashed potatoes. I bring this little sucker. I don't always bring this whole thing because I don't have a titanium plate. I think 
can get one for like 15, 16 bucks. But I think that's what this entire kit cost me was 15 or 16 bucks. So I've got a plate. I've got a little not very deep pan pot kind of situation with a bale on it. And then a little frying pan. And, I, you know, if I'm going to make eggs or something, I'll do it in this. But I think I've used this thing maybe, I don't know, three or four times. So pros and cons of ever. Oh, one other thing as far as titanium goes. This is a Tokes titanium long spoon. If you are into the backpacking meals, you know, this will get down into those bags really well. So it's very lightweight. Uh, I'm either using that or I'm using that Human Bites Duo, I think, or Human Gear Go Bites, something like that. I did a review on a while back. I can't remember the name. But... As far as my preference, I go titanium only because it took me a while to build up to a, be able to afford titanium. I had to save and, you know, scrunch on some or, or scrunch, uh, pinch on some pennies and such. But eventually I was able to buy these things. If you don't have the money, just go out and get the stainless steel. If you're not going to hike a lot, go out and get the stainless steel. Uh, it's it's in all honesty, the weight difference. Yeah, I mean, this sucker versus this sucker, you can definitely tell the weight. But and I'll put it up on the screen right now what each one of these weighs. But it's not a huge, huge difference. It's not a huge difference. Um, if, if I'm more on a budget, this is great. If I've got the money and I want to get titanium just because I can, and uh, I just like, personally, I just like the feel of titanium more than stainless steel as well. Uh, it's very, very durable. That's another thing about titanium. Very durable. People like to say, well, it's thinner and, you know, it's not as strong and it'll dent easier. And that's not true at all. That's the point of titanium, actually, is it's a thinner metal that is just as strong as a stainless steel is. I've dropped this. You can see I've got the, uh, you know, all the marks and everything from having it over the fire. I've dropped it. I've banged it. I've hit, hit it against rocks, all kinds of stuff. Never had a problem, guys. So, uh, you know, as far as your preference, that's your preference. This is my preference. Pros to stainless steel is it's cheaper. It's going to last for a long time. Uh, and that's pretty much it. The pros to titanium, it's more lightweight, but it's more expensive. That's the con. So I've rambled long enough, guys. That's pretty much all I wanted to talk about today was just the pros and cons of stainless steel. There's not a lot. It's basically price versus weight. You know, are you willing to spend the extra money or would you rather have the extra weight? It's up to you. It's, uh, you know, it's your life. It's what you're doing. I'm just here to provide the information. So hope this was just a little bit informative. If it was, give me a thumbs up. If it wasn't, give me a thumbs down. Comment down below if you got anything you want to say. Share this video if you would like to share it uh, across to any social media you so desire, even ones I don't know about. And I'm done rambling. So until next time, I will see you guys around the fire.